The following video describes my own experience. I do not recommend that anyone else do this. Some of these materials can be dangerous if not handled properly. Ever since the first time I fired recycled glass in a mold, a couple of things have bothered me. First, the usual mold release, some com combination of kaolin and alumina hydrate built up in the molds, rendering molds with relief in them useless pretty quickly. And second, regular soda lime glass, either plate glass or bottles, devid really badly in the molds. Some of this devid is due to kiln issues I'll talk about in another video, but the right mold release helps a lot. Properly used, devid can work for an artist, like in this container glass piece fired in a plaster silica mold by Jerry Newcomb. But generally speaking, people want glass to look glassy. When I make a complex mold, like this piece by Rachel Gaspers, I want the mold to give me a consistent quality of relief and a consistent gloss until the mold fails, not just until the relief details build up with mold release. Calcium carbonate, or lime, is available from ceramic supply stores or really inexpensively from garden supply stores. When calcium carbonate is heated above 1800 degrees Fahrenheit, it gives up calcium di carbon dioxide and, after cooling, becomes calcium oxide, or quicklime. Wikipedia has a good entry on calcination if you're interested. Quicklime is still used by some traditional masons in brick mortar. From watching movies, you might also know that quicklime is sometimes used to accelerate the degradation of dead bodies. Pretty medieval. Quicklime is also very corrosive. When working with it, I only use plastic containers, never metal. I haven't seen it sold as quicklime in stores for a number of years, but it may still be available at some mace supply stores. Too dangerous for the liability, I assume. The good news is that quicklime is only dangerous in its reactive state. After dilution, it's just hydrated lime, which is used in gardens to raise the pH of the soil. When water is added to quicklime, the calcium oxide takes up some of the water and becomes hydrated lime, which is much safer to work with. Never add water to quicklime yourself. Bags of hydrated lime are sold in the cement supply area of most Home Depot and Lowe's stores. Hydrated lime and quicklime are supposed to be the same thing, except hydrated lime is safer to work with. I've not found them to work the same as mold release. I found that quicklime is a great mold release, but hydrated lime is not as good. I don't know why. So I take hydrated lime and put some in the kiln with any other load. Heating hydrated lime easily drives off the water of hydration at any glass firing temperature. I never add water to quicklime. I always add quicklime to water. I slowly add 25 grams of quicklime to 100 grams of water. I can tell the quicklime is good because the water gets warm. If I add water to quicklime, it can spray hot corrosive calcium oxide. I always add the quicklime to the water. I never add the water to the quicklime. After the water and quicklime stand for a few minutes, I brush it onto the mold. Then I dry the mold until there's a uniform whiteness. I always rinse the brush afterwards or the brush will degrade quickly. Here's plate glass fired at 1650 Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. See the brush strokes and the nice sheen. In this case, I screened quicklime into the, onto the bottom of the mold, then put coarsely crushed bottle glass into the mold. It's a nice stony effect. Here's the same technique using tempered plate glass. After using the mold, the lime easily scrapes and brushes out of the mold. I find if I don't use the mold for a couple of days, the lime flakes off on its own. Once again, I'm only showing my own experience. I do not recommend that anyone else do this.